seems to be ironic that I actually um, <clears throat> made it to clinic um, this morning for another cycle of uh, chemotherapy because uh, one, my bloods were too low and I almost couldn't have it and two, um, obviously this is the day of uh, Margaret Thatcher's funeral um, the day I was meant to get the fasting anyway um, so it all worked out good in the end and, um, it's just um, <clears throat> um, it's just um, when they said that this journey that I've got to go on um, was going to be a roller coaster um, I think they were mistaken it's not a roller coaster it's an aeroplane crashing and then gaining control and then crashing again and gaining control and um, very much um, emotional warfare that I'm battling with myself at the moment um, uh, just because my brain's um, telling me that um, you know that it's just unbelievably unfair and um, that someone should have to remarkably well, no, not remarkably, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That someone should just have to go through this. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. It's overwhelmingly unbelievable if there is such a thing. Um, no one should have to go through this. You know, within days and weeks of being told one thing and then being told another within days. And yeah, no one should have to go on this journey. Um, and I, I hope that uh, with my mental health awareness um, this can be either cut down or stopped uh, obviously we'd like it to be stopped but um, I don't see that um, it could be um, so yeah, just keep up um, the support. I really do appreciate it. And um, here's to the future and making changes. And hopefully I get to save someone's life um, with those changes. Because um, that's the most important reason why I'm doing it. Not only for my children, um, but the fact that I've got a chance to, to save someone's life. Because people have been misdiagnosed because they're slightly depressed and and dying and you know um, I think we need to change um, GPs especially their channel of, of thinking more than anything um, you know the, their thought process needs looking at as to why um, they don't have no more they don't have as much compassion um, but obviously there is a visible birth side to it that um, there's also people who are diagnosed with with, um, with serious illness and later on that's, that's making them depressed and stuff which goes unrecognised and, and you know um, there's a story of that I had of um, you know one person taking their own life and because they couldn't cope with what they were going through because obviously uh, they're being treated for their illness and um, the mental health wasn't really an issue or the depression rather wasn't really an issue and obviously life is hard and everything that life throws at you some people handle and some people don't uh, some people can do it with with courage and enthusiasm, uh, encouragement, enthusiasm, and and be focused and positive. Other people can't. Um, things happen that make people depressed, and I think that that's kind of another 
and there's all um, kind of awareness as well really, the fact that it can happen to anyone at any time, it doesn't matter how old you are um, or how young you are, it can happen to anyone at any time with everything I'm talking about with serious illnesses, heart attacks, strokes, high blood pressure, cancer, can happen to anyone at any time. There's no age restriction on any illness, um, not even depression. Um, so I need to think about this a little bit more and um, I will blog seriously on it later, uh, later on this week. But yeah, there's just a thought put out there. Um, give me some feedback and tell me what you think. Um, and I will uh, answer questions or, or any queries or arguments, debates that you've got about what I've just said. Um,